Hey, hello. Um, this one is a, another intersecting tubes. And if you've watched some of my previous videos, we've, we've done a couple where this surface was smaller than this surface. And then you have an intersecting curve that goes all the way around. And it's a little bit easier to blend in between. But because these are the same size, everything goes down to zero here. And, and blending this area together is basically impossible. Um, but there are some things you can do to, you know, have at least a reasonable chance of success. And so these are some surfaces that are have untrimmed edges. These are just arc extrusions. We can blend in between these guys and then try to fill whatever is left and see if we can get decent uh, curvature uh, flow. So we're going to go from there to there. And in this case, we want curvature. Now, you see that you know, it uh, sometimes what I found is just uh, moving these guys around a little bit and then resetting it to zero will just give you a really a better result. Uh, the handles move around uh, for some reason, and because this is a symmetrical shape, we can mirror this over that edge. And so now we want to blend this. Uh, stuff together. What I want to do first is I want to blend from this edge to this edge. And in order to do that, uh, we're going to blend from the center here. So we're going to extract uh, a few isocurves. Snap that to the center. Snap that to the center. I'm going to split that edge. Repeat that. Split that edge. And I want to find the natural intersection of this blended edge and this blended edge. Um, and I'm going to create a little bit of um, helper geometry to help me with that. I'm, right now, I'm just creating some curves that are uh, tangent to these curves that extend out all the way. And I'm going to project these onto that surface. So now that I've done that, now I can create some lines that go from there to there. I don't need these anymore. Get rid of that. And the natural intersection of this edge blend and the center of this edge blend is the center of this line, if that makes sense. And I'm going to project those guys onto this guy. And I no longer need these. And so now I can split this edge with these uh, with this helper geometry that I've created. Split edge from there to there and to there. Um, I can get rid of my curves. So now if I blend from there to there, and we're going to do this with tangency because this is a degree two surface. So all we need is tangency. Um, and there's almost no curvature through this. And I've, I've already played with this. If I accept the default values, there's a little too much crown in this blend surface, and it will not match up with this. Now, you won't be able to get a perfect match, but I found that in this case, uh, if we go with 0.9, um, we get a, a good result. This should actually be... Uh, so that's matched up. There's no negative. That's position continuous. It's not um, uh, tangent continuous or curvature continuous, but that doesn't matter for now. We have an untrimmed blend that goes through um, this area. And because it's a symmetrical shape, we can mirror that over. And we're going to do the same here between these guys. So from this edge to that edge. and. Tangency is fine. Link those together and set that at 0.9. So even though we're left with a four-sided hole here, this is impossible to match because you have too much bunching of the control points going on in here. So we don't want to fill this hole. What we want to do instead is create another blend surface between this guy and that guy. This we do want to be uh, curvature. And here you can see that these are not matched up. And so if we lock those together, um, 
Oh, it's funny. Uh, it's actually not doing what I thought it was going to do. They should be. Oh, that's probably the reason. Uh, one was um, set to a tangent and the other one was uh, curvature. But now you see that the um, the blending handles are, are the same length. So we're going to accept that and bring the rest back. So now, if I go to the back side, um, this surface, if we've done this correctly, will uh, the edge of this surface, we should be able to trim this guy back and then match this guy up. So I'm going to duplicate the edge. And I'm going to pull that to this surface. And then I'm going to use that to trim that back. Now, if you do this good, if you do this correct, you should end up with something that's close. Now, it won't match, uh, but it should be pretty close. And if we look at this, you know, it's hard to see that there is a gap. There is a gap. It's not matching. Um, but now, because we have this is a clean surface. This is a clean surface. These are all clean. This one is trimmed, but the, you know, you're, I don't think there's a good way to build this with uh, untrimmed surfaces. And so now if we run match surf on this edge to that edge and tangency is fine. We want to preserve the isocurve direction. And the, because we did this match, it probably pulled away from uh, this surface and this surface and we're going to run match surf again that edge to that edge and we're going to accept the same settings and we're also going to do that with that edge now because this is uh, a surface that's low in control point, and this is a trimmed edge, it is unlikely that this edge will match this trimmed edge. Uh, but we can um, see if it does, and it doesn't. Um, so let's blow that up. The best way to um, improve that is to rebuild this surface. And so here we have the um, uh, the U direction and the V direction, the green direction is the, the V direction. And basically I want more control points along the V direction so that we can, uh, we have enough information in this surface to match that trimmed edge. And uh, as you can see, I've already played with this. So if the, if the V, uh, if we bump that degree up to nine, uh, that should give us enough uh, control points to match that untrimmed surface to that trimmed edge. And we're just going to accept the uh, tangency with preserve isocurve direction. Now, if I join these, uh, you can see that it's no longer uh, a naked edge, so it's matched up. And the reason we do all of this work, of course, is like, you know, what does this look like uh, when we put a zebra map? We have a bunch of ISO curves and we have these splits. Does this look good? Well, let's join this up and look at the zebra map. And so if you have the, the zebra map on there, you can see a small discontinuity here. That's where that blend surface is meeting the other one. But um, you get the you get the gist. The what this does, if I turn this off for a second, the this split edge is split over the center line a little bit. And because we have this natural flow through here, the zebra stripes are going to have this natural flow. This is basically a straight extrusion. So you're going to have these vertical lines running through here. And then as soon as we get to that singularity, they're going to start to bow out and blend into this surface. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So now with the with the zebra map, 
uh, zebra stripes on, if we uh, if we move this, if we rotate this around, you can see we have this straight curvature running through here. And then as soon as we get to our transitions, it's going to bow out and softly blend into that other uh, surface. So you can see this highlight is tracking along that center line really nicely uh, and blending into the round surface that we have over here. Um, I think this is a pretty good method. You can improve this further with some control point modeling and, and just tweaking um, everything that you have. But just from a workflow perspective, uh, if we turn off the ISO curves for a second, this is the patch layout that you have. You basically trim everything back, blend one, blend two, and then you blend one, two, three trim back the third blend here and then with this final blend you run a match serve and so you have mostly untrimmed surfaces uh, one trimmed surface uh, but you know i think this is a uh, a pretty good result hope this is helpful and um, you know if i think of an uh, another modeling challenge i'll make a new video all right thanks